this is officially my 20th video, and only after 5 months. And I'm on 7 subscribers, only after 5 months. Isn't that great? And to celebrate being on 7 subscribers after 5 months. And being on my 20th video after 5 months. I'm playing Pixel World. You know, this game seems really familiar. I have no idea what to expect from this. Besides the fact that it's Minecrafty. Whoa. The graphics here are pretty nice. Uh, hey, player. Oh, I just hit the player. Is that the weapon he has? I better hit, hit, hit. Oh, oh, uh, run. Good. He's not chasing me. I should probably get some wood. Why can't I mine the wood? This game's so hard to play. Well, on mobile at least. Since this is my 20th fail, I aim to entertain. After five months. You know, I've really improved after the last five months. You know, some might say I'm the greatest YouTuber in the world at this point, uh, after five months. I mean, I am at seven subscribers after all. After five months, I should probably make a crafting table before someone takes me out. And now, I have a crafting table, and I can place down the crafting table, and craft with the crafting table, and make some sticks, and just saw it. No one stands a chance with me and my sword. I'm gonna go look for a player to loot. I see no signs of life, except for this dirt mound that is abandoned. So I probably won't find anyone in there. Why do people build out of dirt in this game? It's such a weird block. Is this an actual wooden structure? Now this is a sign of life if I've ever seen one. Ooh. A piece of cobblestone was just sitting here. That's probably not a very good sign that there's anyone still there, but it's a good sign nonetheless that there was once someone there. A sign of life. A sign of life that probably has a diamond sword and probably wants to kill me. Okay, good. Maybe I can make friends with this new sign of life by punching it. Yeah. Punching it is the way to make friends with it. Or maybe it's just gonna run away. Yeah. I guess it'll do that. I'm gonna go look for new friends to punch. What's this? Grass? Huh. Oh, there's a noob. Maybe I should punch him to make friends with him. Ow! Ah! That is not a friendly noob. And there he goes into his natural habitat. Oh, wow! Everyone's fighting. A pickaxe! In the chaos, I got the pickaxe! I should probably be careful. These vast lands are mighty dangerous. Especially since nothing's loading. And sorry for the game being so laggy. Not that anything I play is not laggy. I like how no one's fighting, though. Because usually if you play a game like this, everyone will be fighting. But everyone's trying to make friends. I might accidentally hit someone though eventually, so I should probably put away my pickaxe. Yeah, but who cares? I'm gonna dig straight down. Cobble. What's this? It's in my way. Is this bedrock? Is this Minecraft or something? I did not ask to be so rudely interrupted by bedrock. Hmph. <laughs> can't find anything down here. I wonder what's going on up there. Doesn't seem like much. There's a player. Seems friendly. He's jumping. I don't think he'll attack me, but I'll probably accidentally hit him because my hand swings every time I touch the screen to do anything. Look at the amazing earthworm. Swimming in dirt. He probably has noticed me by now. I should probably make my leave. You know, if I was smart, I'd make a better weapon with the stone I just got. But I'm still sticking with this rubbish wooden sword. That would probably do, like, no damage, so. The earthworm has a rose, and he's a risky little fella. Or maybe he's just the average player. And I have just mistaken his wiggly presence for an earthworm. We may never know. But that guy, I'm pretty sure, is a frog if i ever seen one. Look at them all as they work together to sit there 
and do nothing. Well, I mean, I'm probably one of them. I haven't done a single thing with any of the cobblestone I have. I should probably start building a house. So far, it has a beautiful outer shell, and it also has a bunch of misplaced blocks. Why are these players just standing here? They could help build the house. Ow! What do they think they are? <gasps> I will fight for freedom! Ow, ow! They have the upper hand, they have the upper hand! Ah! Ah! I am so bad at this game! Why? Maybe I can lose them in the water. Why are they so violent? Ah! I'll get the bacon to accidentally hit this guy. That way, that guy will be angry at the bacon. I think I have just accomplished my goal. Oh no, now they're fighting because of me! Now the bacon's picking on that player. I should not have mistaken him for a frog. That is clearly a mountain lion. If I ever did see one, I must put an end to his vicious reign. Charge! No, I'm too laggy to do anything. He's gonna kill him. Yay, new friend. Now I think you can forget all about that noob. Ah, he's at me again. Ah! I am so laggy. Ah, he's still after me. When does he stop? When? Why is he still chasing me? And how come I can't defend myself? He's just a noob. That's it. I'm defending myself. For my newbie kind! Cause I am also a noob! I did it! I defeated the vicious mountain lion beast! And he literally had nothing! He was just punching me and I was letting him beat me up! I'm so useless! Honestly, if he had a wooden sword, he'd be a much bigger threat. Well, now I can have peace in the world! With players like this guy. Because they are not violent towards me, even though that I did nothing to bother them. There's my cobblestone structure I was building. Ah, should have known it was right here all along. I'm out of cobblestone. Guess this is why all the players build with dirt nowadays. At least I don't have to underestimate him, because he literally has noob in his name. Noob. Four, four, five, seven, six, three. He'd be a simple opponent. Hopefully I'm not underestimating him though. Oh no, not him again. Why do you open the doors to my house? Okay, looks like this is a different thing. Not the vicious mountain lion. And I accidentally just hit him, so he probably feels pretty threatened. Now I need to create a crafting table. Oh, so that... Ouch! What was that for? And why are both of you here? Don't tell me that I'm underestimating these guys, and then they're gonna spring out and kill me. Why is everyone in here? Why? I create one small house, and then everyone thinks they can just live off of it. They are all just in here. N they didn't even ask me if they could be in here. They just all showed up. Good thing I have a door, so now the only the smartest of players will be able to get in. Ah. See that? Now you have to be smart to get in. Uh. And it looks like he's smart enough to open. Ouch! I'm gonna assume that's a mispress. I've done plenty to the others. These things can be so complicated sometimes. This is what I get for having 7 subscribers and uploading 20 videos. I get no respect for what I do. This house is too small for me. Especially when everyone lives inside of my house. Oh, a friend request. That must mean I'm famous. I'm just gonna assume that's one of my seven subscribers. Like, I must be a pretty known YouTuber. I mean, seven subscribers. Wow, that's a lot. Don't you think? Guys, 
I guess they don't think I'm famous. Honestly though, I'm only playing this because I'm too lazy to upload an episode of Till the End in this wonderful Wonderful, wonderful game. Ow! What was that for? I'm gonna assume that was another accidental hit. The nerve of some players. And finally, I have my house all to myself. Uh, I should probably build an underground bunker right now. That way, people would respect me. And know that I'm a great YouTuber. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Now that I've built this place, people will really know how great of a YouTuber I am. I have done the ladders completely wrong, but they work just fine. Now everyone will- Why do they take chips off of my house? Okay, so now everyone will respect me as a YouTuber. Those guys respect me. I mean, they're not attacking me, so I'd hope they respect me. Ooh, torch. Now this place is nice and bright. I'm gonna go find a tree to punch. I will be back to my nice little house I made momentarily. Just gotta find a tree. Nothing too complicated, just a tree. And look what I just found. A tree. Why is everyone in my house? I'm going back down to my basement. I must craft. And now I must smelt. And now I must watch it smelt. And now I bask in the reward. A piece of charcoal. Well, a couple pieces of charcoal, which I will now craft into Torches. Now I can place the torches and get ultimate respect. Ultimate respect. Ultimate respect. See? Now these guys respect me. And even I respect myself for getting seven subscribers and posting 20 videos in the last five months they put a hole in my home that is not very nice of them ouch who did that Ugh. nonetheless i will recraft my door because someone thought ow what is it buddy go away i'm trying to craft now Someone thought it'd be nice to get rid of the door that gives me my privacy and keeps the players away who really enjoy to punch me. There. Now I will no longer be unnecessarily punched. How'd he get inside? Okay. It's okay. He's going down there. He will respect me. They'll all respect me. This guy better respect me. So far, he's not punching me. I've gained respect. What's she doing in here? I guess she's friendly. Oh. Oh. Now, do I really want to kill them all so that I can have total peace and happiness in this building? Yeah, probably. But I won't do it. Because it's not very nice. And honestly, I don't think I'd win in a battle against those guys. I'm gonna collect a bunch of dirt and be right back. Because I have big plans. Okay, I have the dirt. Now, my idea was, since there are so many vicious players here, most of them are new, why don't I build a wall so that no more new players can get in? to the little village that's going on here. I know, I'm a genius. Time lapse time. Perfect. This whole town's now officially closed in. Now, no one will ever bother me in my house. Again. Oopsies. Again. Well, maybe, maybe that guy. Ow! Stop that! Ow! No! Someone's bothering me in my house again! How? How could this be? No! No! 
They're gonna catch me, aren't they? Aren't they chasing me? They're chasing me, aren't they? Aren't they? they uh, did they stop chasing me? Oh, that was a close one. Oh, my city. He has conquered my city. And he spent Robux to do it. Because that sword is clearly in the shop. He ruined my city. Robux. Which I do not have. Robux. Is he really letting everyone stay in the city except for me? I'll go back into my city. No one will bother me again. He destroyed my house! Nah! Oh. The basement. First of all, I can finally fix my ladder situation. Okay, never mind. But I can put my door, door back. There. Now I just hide and hope he doesn't find me in here. So what should I do now? Well, I, I guess I could end the episode. It would, uh, it's not on a very nice note. I lost my whole house. And everyone out there seems like they're struggling quite a bit against him. Well, in this episode, we made some friends. I built a house, defeated the lion, and then inevitably didn't like the friends I made. And then I ended up building a wall to keep these friends out. And then the wall ultimately failed because I eyed a door to this wall. And some guy walked in and destroyed everything. And narrowly killed me. So yeah, pretty productive video if I do say so myself. Next video will be my 21th video. And I look forward to that. But anyways, I should probably end this episode before he ends up finding me. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye! The vicious beast is breaking my door again.